love you, Anne. Morning. Thinking about Jillian? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Me too. We haven't said Jillian's name in forever, and now she's front and center. Just because of a few twisted words from Hayward. Mm, not just words. People have risen from their graves. Okay. All right. I mean, that's true, and and that's a lot, and that's that's enough to 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 make people wonder what if and and pray and and. I mean, I get that, but it's 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 how David is using their grief. It's it's just so sick. But we have to ask the what if, because it is possible. It's not not in this case. No, David does not have Jillian doped up somewhere. Yeah, but if he, he was... did, he wouldn't be dropping little innuendos. He would have carried her into our wedding, because the man does not want us to be happy even for one second. You're right. I just. I know what I went through thinking about Leo. And you felt the same way about Jillian. I did. And we talked about this. They're part of us. But right here, right now, I, I know. I, I know that you love me. And I feel the same way about you. Yeah, I guess I just need to trust that. David put Jillian in my head. Well, you did the right thing, and you told me because he wanted you to sit on it, let it fester inside you. But by telling me, by trusting me, you take all the power away. Yeah, well, I guess I'd learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, well, we both made our fair share of mistakes. But it's important that we continue to be honest with each other about them. Look at us, we've grown. <laughs> We're definitely not the same people we were when we were with other people. Because this is our time now. What's this? Just open it. Okay, it's a piece of property. I put I put a bit on. It's it's um, something that I hope will be able to house the Cambius and Fusion offices together. It's beautiful. You think? Yeah. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Zach's coming home today? Yes, he's coming home. Clean bill of health. Come, come in, come in, come in. Can, can you help me with some stuff, please? Yeah. Please. Sure. All right, I got it. Yeah. Spike, you made a sign. Oh. I know. I have a oh, sign. So can you just? I know. It's too oh, cute. It's so cute. Can you help me? I just I yeah. figure out like where to put this. Uh, I just want to put it right here, but I don't yeah. know. A little higher, I think. A little higher. All right. That's good. Okay. I took your advice. Uh, for once. Ha ha. About Jillian. So you you told Ryan and and you were right. He completely understood what I was feeling and. He told me not to let David or anyone else make me doubt that again. Not even you can ruin my good mood, Lavery. Well, I can certainly try. Mm. You know, my wife has been talking to me about possibilities of people that you might bring back. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yes, Greenleaf seemed to be very worried about some of the possibilities. I have my own theory on the subject. Really? Leora. What about her? Well, you must have brought Leora back, right? I mean, you loved her as much as somebody like you could have that feeling, so you must have brought her back to Pine Valley. She'd be what? About eight years old now? I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's... Cruel, heartless suggest someone you may have lost came back to poke at the dead just to get a reaction. Yes. It's very cruel, very heartless. 
made your point. Now get the hell out. You know what? I got more than one point to make. If you think that you can disrupt my marriage by bringing back the ghosts of Pine Valley, you got to think again, Hayward. I know this has got to be really, really painful for you, but Greenlee and I are solid. We're good, and nothing you do can change that. I am happy for you and Ryan. You two deserve to be in a good place. Speaking of which, Ryan put a bid in on a building. He wants Cambius Infusion to be under the same roof. I mean, our offices would be on one end, and his office would be on the other, if you're cool with it. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a great idea. Yeah? Me too. Yeah, good. Okay, um, can you just, just help me with this? Tell me, tell me if this looks good. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Is that... Does I know. Good there. Okay. No, I don't. Okay, this is just forget it. This is not even gonna work. It's not gonna work. This is a bad idea. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing. It just—it needs to be perfect. Okay. It, Everything here needs to be perfect. It is perfect. Zach is coming home. You should be happy, right? We well, are happy, aren't you? I don't know. Zach is different. He's different. It's like he's not himself. I don't know. I'm trying to support him, you know? I'm trying to be supportive of the whole David and Orpheus thing, and... and I, I shouldn't even be talking about no, this. No, yes, anyway. yes, you should. I saw that you were upset about it earlier, and I should have made you talk about it. Zach siding with David is a shock. And you don't like it any more than the rest of us, do you? I do know that you would do anything to get to my wife, including using the memory of your own dead brother, suggesting that Leo is still alive. So, so what, what, what is it? You got Leo and Jillian, like, packed on ice someplace, just waiting for your call? Is that how this works? All right, you know something, Ryan? I know this is gonna be a shocker to you, but this isn't about you. In fact, it's not even about Greenlee. No, it's about you, right? See, you can't even argue that point. Okay, you know something? I'm not going to attempt to explain the enormity of my work to you. It would be thoroughly lost okay, on you. Okay, then I'm going to make sure that you understand something really, really clearly. Just stay out of my marriage. <laughs> I am not the one barging into your office all the time. Honestly, I think that you and Greenlee enjoy having me as your enemy. It distracts you both from what's really missing in your relationship, life. And that's exactly what I'm all about. No, I know exactly what you're all about, Hayward. Really? Yes. What? I do. I know all the people that you've hurt, and I want to tell you that it stops now. It? Orpheus? Orpheus. Mm. You, whatever I have to do to take you down. I guess that means you're taking me down, too. I am standing by Zach. No matter what. Even if that means he's standing by David. I've been where Zach is. And I know it's hard to believe that someone like Zach could be controlled by someone else. But how else do you explain him standing in David's corner? I'm happy Zach is back. Shouldn't that be enough? Listen, I get that you want to enjoy that. But how can you stand by your husband when, when you, you know what he's doing is wrong? If, if Zach can take this and, and, and help people with it, how could that not be a positive thing? How many people have tried to convince David to use his talents and be a better man? Me, Erica, Dixie, Crystal. I mean, the list goes on and on. I can't on. talk about this right now. Kendall. I no, I have to get to the hospital, and Zach is waiting for me. Kendall. I pick him I, up. Listen, Queenly, I meant what I said. I'm, I'm happy for you and Ryan. I am. So why can't you just be happy for me and Zach? I am. Listen, you know you can talk to me about anything, even if we don't agree. When do we ever? All right. Well, I'm here for you. Okay. If you want to talk about anything. Okay. So what do we do now? You tell me. After everything that this man has done to the people of this town, you're going to choose to stand with him. I'm exactly where I need to be. Zach understands what Orpheus can be. Sees its potential. I got to agree with my partner on this one. See your problem, Ryan. No offense. 
is that you underestimate the value of things, like that commercial property on Allen Street. You underbid on it, and somebody took it away from you. How did you know about that? Keep your friends close. And your enemies closer? Is that what I am now? We haven't always agreed on things. We have with respect to him. Not anymore. Do you want to call my realtor and find you some cheap office space in a house or anywhere you some great ideas for our shared space. Now, I know you don't like looking at swatches, Green. but I have some, what, what? Somebody beat us to the property. Who? Zach. I can't make Why would Zach buy that property out from under us? To show us that he can and, and he will do anything possible to make our lives difficult as long as we go up against him and, and Hayward. I mean, I know you told me that you don't want me to go against them for Kendall's sake, but there's something definitely going on here. It's like now that Zach is working for David... He is acting just like him, and I'm not going to stand around on the sidelines and watch. 